Once you're done with your homework, it's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Which favorite game to play? Tetherball. Oh yeah. And dodgeball. And dodgeball. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. All night, every day. Youth Impact originated in the early 1990s. Uh, it actually came from a program called the Ulster Project. And the Ulster Project brought teens from Ireland to the United States, put them in host families with kids their own age here. And the idea was when the Irish teens went home then, uh, the problems that, that take place in Ireland, the violence and such, could be worked out in, more, uh, in a better manner. When the Irish kids went home, the American kids, the host families, wanted to stay together as a group. So for the rest of the summer, Monday evenings, we'd meet at this little Episcopal uh, church over here, corner. 24th and Grant, we'd have pizza. And that got a little boring after a couple weeks, so we started inviting uh, uh, guest speakers, and we had the SWAT team and the canine unit would come in. Well, kids from the inner city would come by, and it snowballed, and they wouldn't go away. <laughs> they just kept coming, and I think we realized uh, that we had a cause. Those kids love to go there. In fact, it's my opinion that the kids made the program. The kids wanted to come, and as more children would would come in the doors, uh, the program expanded. Youth Impact is an amazing program for kids in Ogden. Um, it gives our youth an opportunity to explore themselves, explore their interests, um, their hobbies, um, just discover themselves, discover an identity. They want to be there. They, I mean, no one's forcing them to be there. They come because they want to, to be there. Does it give you something to do after school? Yeah, it's better than being home. I started with Youth Impact almost uh, 13 years ago uh, as a participant. Well, the honest reason why I wanted to go was I had nothing better to do, you know. I was tired of everything that was going on in the neighborhood that I lived in. All my friends were getting into the drugs. I mean, we couldn't do anything. It was either go down to Youth Impact and hang out or go and run the streets with some other kids, you know. So I came down, got to know some people, and uh, it just, I felt, it felt like home when I came in. I've stayed around, volunteered, worked my way through the staff, and uh, now I'm in a position where I can give back and give to these kids what I didn't have and what I knew I needed and what this program gave me when I was coming through the program. What made you decide to come here? Well, um, my big brother uh, heard about it from his friend, so he came here and my mom found out. And then she, she thought it was a really good program, so she just put everybody in our family in it. They're definitely making a difference in the community and they're giving kids an alternative um, who might otherwise you know, end up in gangs or involved in drugs or other things like that. Well, I go to Mount Fort and so after school the van drivers are already out there waiting for us and then we just got on the van and they bring us here. And then the fun begins. Yeah. 93% of the days that kids, the Youth Impact kids could be in school, they're actually in school because they want to go to the Youth Impact program. Youth Impact's biggest asset to these young people is that we provide a, a daily resource to them in, in their lives. Um, it's, a, it's a group of individuals who act as mentors and role models and it's each and every one of us on staff here strive to be more than just an adult in their life. We want to know the dynamics in their families. Um, we know whose, whose parents are incarcerated. We know uh, if there's drugs in the family or a history of gang, uh, that sort of thing. It allows us to, be, uh, to offer more direct assistance to them on a daily basis. Fantastic, you're doing great, man. I'm proud of you, really proud of you. We have a lot of uh, young people that don't achieve things in life because they simply don't think that they could ever get there. So Youth Impact, I think, uh, provides that opportunity, exposes them to uh, situations and programs and people that, that helps them to get where uh, they know that they can achieve anything. Okay, girls, so show me some of your stuff. Hey, these two, which is a fish and a flag. 
Now this one hasn't been fired yet, right? No. A lot of the kids come because of uh, just the environment we have here. We've created like a family-like atmosphere down here where we have people who are here for the right reasons. We care about the kids. It's not just a job to them. They come here to help, to help the kids, and they enjoy what they do, and you can see it in their passion. We're allowed to get close to our children and know them, know their families, and that means a lot to them, and it means a lot to us. They have to be in school or they cannot come to Youth Impact. So if they miss school that day for any reason, then they're not allowed to come here. These kids touch my life every day. They just want something to do, and they just want somebody to love them. That's why I do it. They have a personal relationship with each one of the kids, which is rare, and uh, treat them as if they're their own. What do you get out of all this? I mean, you work all day at school, too. Yeah, I do. Um, just the satisfaction of being with the kids and um, being a mentor to them, um, and then just watching them grow. Some of the students that, involve, that are involved in these after-school programs have went from failing students to honor roll students. And it's basically because of organizations like Youth Impact. These children finish their homework. They do community service. They are mentored in the things that they are doing so that they can learn through examples of how and what they want to do when they grow up. And that's why we are interested in helping them. What they are doing is exactly what we should be doing all throughout this community in regards to helping kids get prepared for life, to give them some social skills to help them learn, to help them prosper. This is what we believe in at ADF, and we really believe that Youth Impact is the source for this in our community. We like to have people come into our facility anytime because on the outside it looks like a business and we don't have kids running around on the, on the streets or in and out the doors, but when you come into our facility and we have our batting cage and we have our miniature golf and we have our garden area and our playground and our hobby shop and our bike shop and our game room, uh, it, they're just thoroughly amazed at what we have here and what we can offer to these youth. It's awesome. It rocks. Um, it's amazing, quite honestly. You walk in and you get this sense immediately that this is a safe space. This is a refuge. It's a safe haven and it's a fun one. Can you believe just some guys from Autoleave and gals could come in and just put something like this together? Yes. What was your reaction when you saw it for the first time? Because I know it's brand new. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Youth Impact is 100% privately funded. Most of our funding comes from grants and individuals. If we know how much a monthly donation is going to be, we can budget on that for next month, next year, or next week because we know how much money we're going to have coming in. And that is really the future of Youth Impact. I am very happy to be a, a supporter, both financially as well as being on their board because I think uh, the community that's helped us get to where we're at in life, uh, you know, it's a community that I'm enjoying paying back to. I chose personally to sponsor their, that program over there uh, because I really believed in it and I felt like it was a, a great program. We can see that by bettering and improving their facilities and how they interact with kids it helps us in the future because we're building future leaders uh, in this area. They're, they're a group of people that we can pull from. After seeing these kids that are probably headed down the wrong road, after Youth Impact has influenced their lives for the positive, I would hire them here, 99% of them. Everything that I've seen with the program is positive to the community. Knowing that we just had a small piece to make in their lives better, it's just great. It's a wonderful feeling. They even take you to your house for you? Yeah, they, you get on the van and they take you home. Pretty long day, but it sounds like a pretty fun day. It's a fun day. It's like it goes by fast. So. I mean, you get up the next day and do it all over again. Yep. We believe that if a child uh, is respectful uh, and a child has good communication skills and good social skills, they will be successful in life. And and if we can do anything to provide those skills and and those learnings to these kids and put them out in the world, then then we've done a good job.